Hey friends, hope you're doing fine. Today I'd like to share with you a sentiment analysis project I was working on recently, which is actually extracting uh, sentiment for cryptocurrencies, in this case Bitcoin and Ethereum, from Twitter based on tweets made around the world. How does this work? Well, I was using TweetPy, which is a library in Python, which allows to connect to Twitter and then read data actually, or tweets in this case, from Twitter. To apply this, you basically need credentials and you can get those if you register as a Twitter developer. So you can get a free developer account at Twi from Twitter when you register there and then you get your credentials, which I do not share here, right? Of course, because these are my own ones, but basically you need those credentials. And as soon as you have them, I already stored them, you can basically then run all the commands. So I can run TweetPy, I installed it. If you have not installed it, you can install it via pip. So pip install TweetPy as an example. And then you need to set the authorization, which you can do adding the consumer key in secret, and then also set the access token. And if you execute this, you basically have the authentication, and then you can create your API. And as soon as you have your API, you basically are able to extract any kind of data. So this, for instance, is in this line, you can extract data from your personal home timeline. So meaning you can extract all the tweets, which you would see uh, based on what you have basically, or from the people you follow, if you execute this. And in this case, what you need, or what I needed was, I needed to create my own stream listener. So that's why I imported stream and stream listener here. And also for sentiment, I'm using text blob here. You can also use weighted sentiment or any other kind of sentiment analysis if you want to do that. In this case, this is not regard, uh, related to machine learning. In this case, I'm using a sim simple text blob. So then I specified basically a directory here, which in this case is my Twitter folder, which is here on my desktop. And then I basically executed that. So like that, let me also execute this one one more time. And then basically I defined variables, in this case for Bitcoin and Ethereum, and set the sentiment for beginning to zero. And then I created a sentiment CSV file here and write it here, uh, headers, or uh, have written here the headers, Bitcoin, Ethereum. So if I execute this, so just to show you this, currently the folder is empty. And then if I execute this here, go to execute, then you'll see that here, basically I have my sentiment CSV file. And if I open this, I would see that basically I have two headers, which is in this case is, uh, uh, Ethereum and uh, Bitcoin. So um, as soon as I've done this, I'm basically able to, uh, let me go back here and here to my Jupyter Notebook, I'm able to define my own listener here, which is um, uh, inheriting from stream listener. That's why we import it here from StreetPy. And this uh, listener actually always has two methods, which is on data, the first one, and the second one is on error. So an error, an error is quite clear. If we do not get any data, then we want to print the error. And the other option is here on data. If we receive data, we want to load the data, which is actually JSON. So we convert it here into a Python dictionary, and then we extracted the text. And then what I do here is I simply put the text into text blob. And having done this, I can basically then uh, actually get the sentiment for the text. So for each tweet, Basically, we extract the individual sentences and then figure out is this tweet positive or negative. And the way we do it is simply that we check whether Bitcoin is used as name here inside the sentence. And if it does not contain Ethereum, then we want to add to the Bitcoin sentiment. And if the sentence contains Ethereum, but Bitcoin is not mentioned, then we add it to the Ethereum sentiment. So we do a really separation here between those two. And then we simply add uh, again to the global variables here and then we basically add the sentiment. So we will see then over time in real time whether the sentiment increases, so it's a positive sentiment or decreases, so the sentiment is negative. And we write this also in the sentiment CSV file using the append modus, uh, mo uh, the append mode here just to add the additional add data. Uh, but I also print it here so we can see it live in the Jupyter Notebook. And uh, let me just execute this. And here I already checked it, I tested it, but you see that we define a stream here, which in this case is now our personal listener, which we defined here, my stream listener or my listener. And then we filter based on tracks. And this means we are listening on our Twitter account based on Bitcoin and Ethereum. These are the keywords. And if we execute this, 
we'll see that it starts with zero and then it continues. And this is in real time. We simply now analyze all the tweets and we see that now the data changes, right? We can see here it starts slowly, but then we see a positive and negative sentiment based on Bitcoin and Ethereum. And it adds up, of course, because every time a new tweet is tweeted and it is positive, then the sentiment for either Bitcoin or Ethereum rises. And if the tweet is considered as negative, then the, the value will fall. And we can see that here, the development and so on and so on. And, and you see that this is actually now, um, well, unterminated. This is uh, limitless because um, currently it's still uh, listening to all the tweets posted in, on Twitter. And uh, let me just cancel this now. Let me just uh, interrupt the kernel just to stop this for now. But otherwise you would read the whole time all the data and then you will see the sentiment changes. And of course you could also visualize this in any kind of chart uh, just to see this also uh, how the development is. But yeah, that's it for this project. Hopefully that was interesting to you. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you enjoyed it, then please give this video a like and please also consider subscribing. Thanks a lot. Take care and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.